60 miles an hour. The Wally for the Baby Gators. It took about a week, but we finally handed them out. Phil Edge, you are the winner in Top Alcohol Funny Car, and this really represents for you starting last year, turning this program around, and now it's starting off tremendously well in 2024. Yeah. Wow, it has come a long way. It sure has. I think the beginning of last year was really rough on us. This year is the best start we've ever had. Even though we had a hiccup with the oil pump locking up, E1 ran the whole run with no oil pressure, and it didn't blow the motor up. That's just amazing to me. But here we are. Uh, I mean, the crew's been doing a great job. We had the car at McKinney's. He took care of the race car this year. We did, made a, a, some changes in it, put a new body on it. Um, We've just been working really hard. Wild Motorsports, Todd Tuttero. I mean, there's been a lot of people. Johnny Davis, Les Davenport's been helping us tune it. I mean, so it's it's been a group of people to help us get to this point in a year. And um, and we've worked hard to get it, and we finally, it feels like we're finally in a direction. You know what I mean? When you get all those little ducks working, walking in the same direction, you know, you get one that goes the other way, it really messes up a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? It just takes one thing to really just mess you up. So pretty excited about our start this year we're going to try to win the gators the next couple days that's our next plan he's got a good shot mr ez is qualified number two for the gator nationals Samsel's Racing at the end of the day for the Baby Gators gave Joe C. Maynard a spectacular hot rod and in your first top alcohol dragster outing you pick up the win in regional competition. Stellar performance throughout last week to this weekend but you won over Matt Cummings in a pedal job. It was, it's, it was strange because I honestly didn't know what pedal shake was and the mechanics of it and what it's actually doing until yesterday. And like I said before, this crew is amazing. They sat me down yesterday and explained it to me with the graphs, with everything. And normally people will sit there and when they, when they win and they'll talk about the sponsors, I'm just gonna say that this is mom's car. She wanted to see me race. She's a, you know, she was a few months early on her departure for it, but this is mom, tri triple nickel with a 555. Um, I just, this is only my ninth run. I don't deserve this right now. This is all for them. This, these guys did it. I, I just, I, I press the button and I, I step on the gases. But these are the guys that actually made the work and made it happen. Speaking of making it happen, the Samsels have got you set up good going into actual Gator Nationals eliminations. Yep. Uh, Matt Cummings went around us on the last round in the semis of this race. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get a back around him, but number two is still number two. It means we're, we're in the top half, we're sitting good. I fully believe in these guys and how and how well they're gonna be working. I mean, they're already working on the car and we gotta run in like nine and a half hours. So they will, they'll get it right and we'll be fine tomorrow, I'm sure of it. Congratulations, Joe. Thanks, sir. appreciate it. Well, for this young lady, it is jubilation. A lot of hard work. This car had not been where you all wanted it to be, but you put it in the show, and seems like some things are worked out, Megan. Yeah, definitely. We knew it was there. We had our top end speed down, and just getting that 60 foot, man, we struggled for it. Feels like two weeks now trying to get that 60 foot, and I'm just so proud of my dad, my guys. Everyone stuck with us and finally got it. Finally got that 36, and it just feels awesome to get in the show. Gator National Show, something very important for you and your family. Oftentimes, you might not see your dad or see grandpa out for a while, but they come up to this one and they compete. 
Yep, definitely. We've had a busy day so far. You know, I ran this thing and then ran his the funny car and then came back to this. So, um, yeah, Florida is just our. It's like my second home. Uh, Gator Nationals is like my second home track, and the, it's very important to Smith family. And I think you could tell by the jubilation on the starting line. I mean, we had both crews up there, and you would have thought we won the race. Well, folks, I can tell you I am glad to see the baby Gators in the books. I have been in Gainesville, Florida, for over a week now and been chasing the baby Gators to completion. Congratulations to Joe C. Maynard, Samsels Racing, Phil Ez, and the Ultrasonic team on their win in their respective categories. Your number one qualifiers for the Gator Nationals are Sean Bellamere at a 5.47 elapsed time and Matt Cummings at a 5.22. We will roll into Saturday starting eliminations for the 55th running of the Gator Nationals. I'm Lee Kraft with this top alcohol report brought to you by OcalaTrailer.com.